Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator lore video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating a couple of these textures for the um, the crystals that we made last episode and then I wanted to also set up some structures instead of the features uh, because I, I'm pretty sure that method would work. We ran into an issue last episode where they um, wouldn't generate through features and uh, no matter what I tried for making it underwater. So I don't think features has full support for this kind of thing just yet. So one of the things that I wanted to do was make sure that the texture for the crystals were actually blue uh, to kind of match the crystals, the parts that will be growing off of it. We'll do the mechanics in a later episode. But I want to make sure that I can get the generation and stuff set up first, and then we can start taking it from there. But um, yeah, I was just playing around with the textures. And after I did that, I wanted to kind of get the gravel texture set up. I was playing around with uh, some of the uh, texture, the, the coloring for that, and I wanted to see what it would look like with this kind of color scheme. And I how I basically compared it was actually quite ingenious um, because I haven't done this kind of thing before but what I did was I opened up the stone and sand texture and then I basically brought it into the like a 32 by 32 and then I basically pasted it over and already there I could see that I didn't really like the the, the hue of that particular thing and the shading and stuff so I tried to play around with it with the default settings for paint.net and I, I just couldn't get the actual temp uh, that I wanted to have for the block itself so I ended up opening up the plugin version and just adjusting the uh, tint a little bit and I eventually got it to where I wanted it so it works with the the stone and the sand still and it went pretty well so that's basically what I did after that I just imported the textures and made sure that they were all set up for M Crater. Uh, that way we can get it set up for the um, thing and I just restarted the application to apply the effect. Testing a game, I was pretty happy with the results. Uh, we got a pretty nice texture for both of these. A uh, couple things, I'm pretty happy with both of them. Um, the blocks and stuff here we're going to have to actually save as a structure first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a um, structure block I'm just going to give that to me and because I'm in creative I can do that and then what we'll do is we'll save the blocks like they are and then we can go ahead and uh, plop them into our M Crater structures uh, directory I guess I don't know how, what it would be I think it would be like the saved structures so we can use them as uh, actual structures so this is the first one uh, we need to give that a name we'll give it a name in a second I don't know what to name it at the moment and then what we'll do is we'll set the size for this one this one should be two for two high and one so perfect all right now I'm just going to go quickly grab the name for the actual crystal and I think that was on the other screen here and we'll just quickly grab that copy it and then we'll set it up for the name of the structure so we'll go back into minecraft and we'll paste that in and then we'll go ahead and okay so it's not letting me do a capital p so that's fine uh then we'll what we'll do is we'll just call it uh crystal or i was thinking about calling it node actually and then i'm like crystal would probably be better and then I was like, okay, what are we going to identify this one as? So was, I'm like large. So that one's the large one. And then this one is the small one. So after I'd done that, I could save. As long as I didn't delete the world, I would be able to go ahead and destroy these and stuff like that. And we'll be able to basically get the structures from the, the world itself. All right, so with that being said, um, at the moment, nothing is generating. As you can kind of see here, there's absolutely nothing under here. Uh, trying to get it to spawn features un underwater is not very easy. If there is a technique, I am not aware of it. So <laughs> I'm sure there probably is a certain way to do it, but I'm not sure the actual method of doing it. So 
there's that but uh, structures are a lot easier generally anyways so um, less control on density but that's fine we don't need that much uh, crystals in the water to be honest so we should be able to get away with just using structures so we're gonna make a structure and then once we have the structure made what we can do is we can do some tests I want to do additional condition for testing for the water as well above so it doesn't spawn in there so the last thing that I wanted to do is I needed to import the actual structures and set up the structure files I'm going to bump this number up to uh, 1 million uh, the highest it can go and then we're going to set the uh, general block for what we're going to be replacing I already set the biome or the uh, dimension so I don't need the dimension but I'm also going to make sure that it can spawn in any biome at least at the moment and then lastly I wanted to go ahead and just make sure that the additional generation condition would be testing from water uh, above it um, I want for this one because it's large it's going to need two blocks above it uh, to generate that way it's not poking out of the water and we're just going to return false uh, if it does not return true lastly uh, we needed the small structure again I have both of these set up I just need to uh, create a folder for these we'll put those in there for now and then we'll set up the um, or just clean up the features and then we'll pop back in game so looking at it uh, does look like there is some generating so it looks good uh, I while testing I'm not sure if I caught the yeah some of these sometimes stick out of the water and the reason for that is I forgot to update the structure for the uh, small one uh, so it was basically testing for one to be in water and it was allowing it to spawn outside of the water as well so it wasn't because it was spawning the large model not the small uh, other things that I noticed was seaweed or seagrass was spawning on top of it on a few of these you can kind of see this uh, that probably has to do with the material type uh, that's my best guess so we'll try to change the material type from glass to something else as you can see there's quite a few different ones all over the place uh, that are generating on top of these so um, we'll fix that in just a second but yeah it's just something we'll have to kind of play around with I'm not sure what material we can use maybe ocean plants or seagrass itself uh, one of those two things might work but we'll change that right now and we'll see if we can't get that to work uh, for the grass part and I need to check to see the structure if the um, structure itself is generating the small version I'm pretty sure it's generating the large one so yeah the large one so we want to set it to small and then it won't be poking out of the ground there but uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was just double check the condition that's fine okay and then we'll go into the blocks I believe it would be the blocks for the actual generation so I just quickly clicked on um, I wanted to see if there was anything on Minecraft wiki about what kind of blocks it can't be on uh, I know that wiki doesn't have a whole bunch of information about stuff like this but like it's really hard to navigate and then they're like popping more stuff up in my face I'm like oh just go away so I'm just like all right so I finally get to the page I'm like looking at the properties I'm going okay I'm not really seeing anything saying that it can't be placed on anything so I'm going hmm okay maybe I can just use the ocean plants or something most likely that would work um, short term yeah we did test for seagrass first it ended up being able to be replaced with the uh, block that we're basically placing but if we right clicked on it with seagrass it would basically replace it because it's replaceable that's just how the property works for that material type um, the ocean plant so it basically allowed us to keep it very similar to kelp or coral and stuff like that so after I did some testing I went back into game and I just wanted to make sure that all this stuff was basically set up and it looks like it's generating fine now um, I changed the properties for seagrass first I believe I'm not sure if this is the seagrass clip 
that I took. I wanted to actually test if there was uh, the replaceable and how it would interact and stuff. Just one of those fleeting thoughts that I had um, to actually test it. And I'm glad I did because it was replacing the crystal when it shouldn't have been so but right now it looks like it's doing well so i think yeah this is probably where i ended up trying to replace it and i'm just like okay that won't that material type won't work at all because we can just replace it with seagrass so that was just like one of those fleeting thoughts that i was like oh what if i right click on it with seagrass would that replace it and yeah it would because it's that's how seagrass works uh, you can replace it it's not like an ocean plant it's um a um, different type of material where it has replaceability so yeah outside of that uh, we I quickly patched it up and changed it to the kelp which I was looking for just to see if seagrass could replace um, kelp and uh, it took me a while to find it actually I couldn't figure out what tab it was under and yeah it's right here so uh, I, was, I just basically placed down some um, some kelp and I wanted to see if the seagrass could replace it when I right clicked on it and it couldn't so I'm like okay that might work actually so I knew that this was a plant material type so chances are we can basically use a plant material type to actually get it to work now it's not the regular plant it's the ocean plant one so uh, once I hopped out of the game I just quickly updated it and for all the blocks so I went to the material it was on seagrass and then I updated it to the ocean plant and then I could basically test this in game and sure enough it worked uh, it wouldn't you can still place seagrass after generation on top of it but it works like it should it doesn't spawn it immediately so basically testing uh, trying to replace it specifically it won't and if we we can still place it on top but I was wondering if there was any generation and stuff uh, happening uh, with the seagrass on top of it, like naturally generated. And I wanted to kind of fly around a little bit. This is a brand new world, uh, as, far as, I, as far as I know. But um, I wanted to uh, just double check to see if this was actually possible to find anything that generated on top of the actual crystals itself and I was looking around and it didn't look like there was anything localized that there was but I wanted to make sure that there was uh, not a whole bunch of floating things and as I was going through the ocean and stuff I couldn't actually see a single case of it generating on top so chances are uh, when it comes to seagrass if you put it under the ocean plant one it's going to be ignored for generation on when it's been placed on top. So uh, compared to that issue that we were having before, because I'm honestly not seeing any of them just doing a quick flyby with any seagrass on top of it. And some of these are in patches of seagrass and stuff. So uh, I ended up just making sure double double checking by ending up going over to the other side. There's uh, another pool over here you can kind of see the chunks generating I might have been using the same world as well but um, I wanted to make sure that the it it's 100% sure that it was not going to generate like that so I hopped into the water and I was just kind of flying around just to see if there was anything because I know these are newly generated chunks and I couldn't actually see anything that was being generated so I'm pretty sure we fixed the issue just by simply changing the material type and yeah it looks like all these chunks are basically loading in you can kind of see them in the distance loading in and I'm not seeing anything that should be generating like it was before so that's good I'm pretty happy with the results uh, we will set up the um, what do you call it the uh, generation parts uh, for the block itself so we'll make sure that it's in the uh, specific biomes that we want it to generate the crystals in and then what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, we can have it slowly grow the crystals over a period of time 
Uh, this is a project for another video though. Um, obviously, there, it's going to take a while to set up that mechanic, but uh, that will be for next episode. Alright, so the last thing I just wanted to do was take a quick look at what it actually looks like when it's lit up under here. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty happy with the end result of the changing the textures and stuff. Uh, next episode, uh, we'll again uh, set up the mechanics and stuff for the growth. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.